Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a 3D wooden puzzle of a pumpkin cart. Uh, you'll notice it kind of looks a little bit like Cinderella's pumpkin carriage. You may also notice that all three of my videos so far are Disney, Disney related. Wasn't intentional, that's just how the cookie crumbles and I'm not upset about it. <laughs> so inside came a tiny piece of sandpaper. I didn't end up I didn't end up needing it at all, so it's just more sandpaper for a future project. And then also came a very large sheet of instructions. It's um, front and back, and it's folded in four when you get it. So, um, and then three sheets of wood. They're labeled A, B, and C, and each sheet of wood also has numbers that you match up to the instructions. And then all you do is just pop out the pieces you need. There's no gluing necessary. It's just like any other puzzle. You just pop them together and it stays. So it's really easy to put together. Um, a small disclaimer though is a lot of these pieces are very tiny. Um, so I suggest to pop them out as you go and if you have any fur babies like I do, to not leave them mm -hmm. on the desk and then walk away. Um, just, just, just don't do it. The hardest part by far was putting the wheels and the carriage panels together. There are two pieces that have to be put together to create a specific shape. And the only way to do that is with this very tiny piece of wood that goes in the holes to connect the two pieces together. And this tiny piece of wood is probably about the size of an ant. So it's not very big. I had to use tweezers and just a lot of luck to get them in however while using tweezers it's helpful to a point it also made them fling far and wide so I had probably seven or eight of those tiny pieces just lost forever in my room but luckily they thought of that happening and gave you it gives you I think like maybe 30 pieces of this tiny wood just in case you have that same problem. In order for me to get this little back piece on, I had to take off the wheels um, to make sure I had kind of like a sturdier surface. I was afraid of pushing too hard and snapping 
the axle where the wheels were. So I just took off the wheels, which are really easy to take off and put back on um, to make sure that I didn't break it. Alright guys, so this is where I made my big mistake. I ended up breaking three of these C-shaped pieces in the process of fixing it. I did glue it back together and everything worked out just fine, and you'll see that at the end. But there's four different C-shaped um, like beams, and I didn't read the instructions properly to know where they were supposed to be at. And after putting in the top pieces, I realized my error and had to take all those top pieces back out and then pull the seashell pieces out as well. So just make sure that you don't pull a me and you read the instructions very carefully so that you don't have the same problems.
Alright guys, so this is the completed project of my little pumpkin carriage. So I think it turned out super cute. I love the details and I'm kind of glad that I didn't paint it, although it would look really cute painted. I feel like painting it would just, you would lose a lot of those little details. And you definitely can't paint this before you put it together because the pieces are so snug to begin with. I feel like any added paint would just, they just wouldn't fit together. And then, honestly, other than my own stupidity of not following the instructions to the best of my abilities, um, it was really easy to put together. And the pieces stay together. It's very firm. The only thing I would say is that I feel like some of the, the ordering of some of the parts probably wasn't the best. I ended up having to take the wheels off a couple different times to prevent myself from breaking like the axle and stuff. But other than that, it looks adorable and I'm definitely looking into more of these and this is definitely my favorite project so far. So let me know what you guys think. Comment down below and we'll see you next time. Bye guys!